September 6th, the regular season opener. That's the goal, says Carson Wentz, who not only was on the field for the Eagles' first training camp practice on Thursday, but he took part in full team drills. We kick off this edition, the opening episode of Inside Training Camp presented by Independence Blue Cross with the latest on the quarterback's comeback. Yeah, I mean, we got a good plan, you know, a good plan to just progress with how I feel, what the doctors are saying. Um, it's not just me making decisions, it's not just coach, it's not just the docs, it's really a culmination of everybody. So uh, I'm not real worried about that. You know, I like where I'm at right now, and uh, I think our, our plan that we have is, is a good one. I'm not going to you know, push him or get him out there sooner than he has to, and, and uh, I want to make sure that he's 100%. He, you know, he looked good today, and we're just going to continue to progress. Carson looks great. I mean, y'all watched him. I mean, he looks great. He's doing what he does. He's working as hard as he can every single day. He was, he was throwing it well. Uh, not surprised just you know from what he's done this offseason, but he looked good. You know, he's happy to be, be, back, be back out there. Um, look crisp, though. Wentz wasn't the only player who increased his workload at the onset of training camp. Jason Peters, Jordan Hicks, Darren Sproles. None of those players were on the field for the Super Bowl win, but they want to make sure that the Eagles get back there again. A little rusty, um, but you know what? It is. It feels... It's rewarding to be back there on the field. Um, you know, you think about all the things that you have to overcome, all the things that go into it, the pressures, the stress, the, the thoughts of, you know, what if, you know, everything that you have to overcome and uh, we're able to achieve throughout that entire process, it all pays off on, you know, your first down out there. It's a grind. You know, we got a target on our back. Uh, they're going to be coming after us. We, ju we just got to uh, defend, you know. We're the defending champions, and, and, and people are going to try to beat us. So we're going to get the best out of everybody. So that's how we got to approach every game. A anytime I got, you know, Jace Peters on the line with me, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep up with him. That's just, you know, he's a Hall of Famer, and uh, if I'm anywhere close to that, I'll, I'll be doing good. He's, he's made me, I think, tackle that end of the day. You know, if it's just like Mitchell Schwartz there and, and with the Browns, he's had Joe Thomas learn from. That's, you know, that's why he's one of the best right tackles. That's why I'm one of the better right tackles. I have a mentor to learn from ever since I stepped in the league. And uh, I just, everything, everything he's done, uh, I've tried to emulate and put it in my game. Embrace the target. Coach Doug Pearson had t-shirts made with this message because he wants the players to relish in the fact that they are no longer the underdogs. Players, both old and new to the team, understand that the past is in the past and it's a brand new season. I think, you know, the greatest enemy of success is complacency. And you see it all the time and we're aware of that. Um, you know, we have a target on us, but we just have to do what we do and we have to prepare. We have to work our butts off. We have to hold each other accountable. All the little things that it takes to be successful, we have to do day in and day out. Um, but there's such a great brotherhood here of guys that really hold each other accountable. We're going to push each other on the playing field, and that's why this is a special team. For the moment we came in, ran that conditioning test yesterday, it didn't matter anymore. Um, we're, embr we're embracing for another challenging season. You know, it's going to be a great opportunity for us to have that sustained success like I've talked about in the past. And that's what we're focused on is going out there, getting better as a team right now, each individual getting as good as they possibly can. So when we step on the field September 6th in our home opener, we're going to be the best team we can be at that point. It's a new season and you can't really think about what you did. You know, all your time in celebrating was all off season. Now you just got to get moved forward and find a way to get back into the championship and be able to be back in Atlanta. But it starts at one game at a time, not looking too far ahead. Day one of practice is in the books. Come back for more Inside Training Camp presented by Independence Blue Cross on Friday. Until then, I'm Chris McPherson wishing you all a great Eagles night.